In a world that is always on the go, maintaining good health is critical. Health is our greatest asset, enabling us to live fully, chase dreams, and share moments with loved ones. But today's urban lifestyle poses serious threats to our well-being. Type 2 diabetes is spreading fast, impacting millions around the globe. Without proper management like a balanced diet, regular exercise, and medical care, type 2 diabetes can lead to severe complications. Despite rapid technological advancements, the cry for fast food, long hours at desk, and the relentless pace of city life take a toll on our health. But there is a silver line. With the right management, people can have a better quality of life and thrive. Insulin, made by the pancreas, helps glucose and through our cells for energy. Without enough insulin, or if cells cannot effectively use it, glucose builds up in the blood, causing hyperglycemia, the clinical indicator of diabetes. The 2023 Indonesian Health Survey reports that from the total national prevalence, 50.2% of Indonesians across all age groups have type 2 diabetes. Based on physician diagnosis in population aged more than 15 years old by a province from Indonesian Health Survey, Jakarta, the center of urban areas has the highest prevalence of diabetes mellitus cases in Indonesia. Based on the same report from Indonesian Health Survey, the age group above 45 years old has the highest percentage of people with diabetes who have been diagnosed by doctors. So that, the main target of our program is the elderly, but it is not limited to the elderly only. Here is the theoretical model that explains the factors related to the patient not adherence to type 2 diabetes treatment based on the Bloom Health Determinants. The factors are grouped by environment, lifestyle, and healthcare. These factors contribute to the problem of high prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus in Indonesia. Diabetes cannot yet be cured, but it can be managed. In Indonesia, managing diabetes is tough. Many patients with type 2 diabetes don't follow their treatment plans. They often lack of motivation, forget to take their meds, struggle with the high cost of treatment and doctor visits. Some people think they're healthy when they're actually not. Data management is another problem. They don't have an integrated system for diabetes information due to lack of knowledge and skills in entering data correctly. This leads to poor data handling and a limited understanding of the disease impact. With technology at our fingertips, a healthier life is just a step away. We introduce you, My Diet Care. My Diet Care is a new innovation that integrates various existing features aiming to address the problem of diabetes in Indonesia. We integrate Satu Sehat and WhatsApp as the most used apps amongst Indonesians. Satu Sehat is the upgraded version of Padulindungi app, which is the main health platform in Indonesia during the COVID-19 pandemic. It manages health data and providing access to various healthcare services for Indonesian citizens. However, since the pandemic ended, the app has been largely neglected by the public. In 2024, the Health Ministry of Indonesia plans to redevelop Satu Sehat to enhance its usefulness for healthcare system. And we see this as an opportunity to simplify technology use and enhance medication management for type 2 diabetes patients by collaborating with WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the most used communication and information apps in Indonesia. This app is highly suitable for development among the elderly, who are the primary focus of our program. In fact, elderly individuals in Indonesia are most familiar with and trust information from WhatsApp. Through this program, we aim to provide assistance and occurrence information regarding self-management for type 2 diabetes treatment. My Daycare will also be partnering with BPJS and Komunitas Diabetes Indonesia. My Daycare has four key features. The first one is Automation Reminder. Maintaining adherence to prescribed medication is a significant issue for individuals with diabetes. My Daycare automates medication reminder based on medical report integrated with Satu Sehat. We believe that these features will facilitate type 2 diabetes patient and their caregiver to continuously monitor their improvement and prevent the risk of disability. This feature also have the capability to monitor blood sugar based on integrated medical records from various hospitals and clinics affiliated with Satu Sehat and then utilize the data as an evidence-based decision maker. We will collaborate with Komunitas Diabetes Indonesia as the main diabetes community in Indonesia. This could be a great supporting group for individual living with type 2 diabetes. Our goal is to educate and support you using credible resources. 
through group chat, we aim to boost treatment adherence when connecting fashion with other who facing similar challenges. Our health board facilitates private text and consultation to address frequently asked questions or facts for the fashion or the caregiver by using AI-driven machine learning algorithms. These features provide accessibility and flexibility in terms of timing and also optimizing user experience. And the last one is telemedicine. Telemedicine feature is designed to complement the health board, serving as the next step if further assistance is needed. Users will receive a questionnaire asking about their satisfactions. When you need more information, the program will guide you to a real-time consultation with a doctor. We also have a scheme for the new users. First, go to healthcare facilities affiliated with Satu Sehat to check your blood sugar level or do self-check at home if you have the tools. And then, scan the barcode provided in healthcare facilities and social media of the health ministry and related partners, which automatically link to my MyDiaCare's WhatsApp account. And then, send the automatic template message to trigger my MyDiaCare's response. Our system will ask you to fill in your name and email to help you register to Satu Sehat account serving as a data storage. After the users confirm the required data and information, you will get an email to make your own passwords. My MyDiaCare will send an information brief as a video about our services. My MyDiaCare also will ask for your willingness to join the supporting community. Some potential challenges my daya care might face in different population are not everyone in rural areas have reliable access to the internet. It is crucial for using our online feature services. Also, my daya care relies on smartphones to use WhatsApp and Satu Sehat, and not everyone may have access to these devices. Despite these challenges, we are committed to finding solutions and make my daya care more accessible to everyone, no matter where they live. In the first year, we will assess current diabetes management practices, identify gaps, train the employees, develop a detailed program plan, establish partnerships with government and non-government entities, launch the program, and initiate the campaign. In the second year, we will upgrade and explain the program. This includes improving the technology based on user feedback, enhancing features, developing additional resources for patients and healthcare providers, and increasing promotional activities to reach poor patients. In the third year, we'll evaluate the program effectiveness and scale it up. We'll conduct comprehensive evaluations, gather research feedback, and expand the program to reach a larger community, maximizing its overall impact. Now, this is the financial plan that supports our two years program. Our financial plan ensure the sustainability and effectiveness of our program. Over three years, our total investment is amounts to one million dollars. In the first year, our total investment is four hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars. This investment is allocated as follows. In the second year, we continue with an investment of two hundred forty-six thousand dollars. The funds are distributed to ensure the continuation and expansion of our program, which allocated as follows. In the third year, the investment is $327,000, focusing on upscaling and maximizing the program's impact, which allocated as follows. We believe our solution will improve diabetes care management through technological innovation in Indonesia. Join us in this transformative journey towards better health and well-being for all. Be part of the change with My Daya Care. With My Daya Care, a healthier life is just a step away.